This is a documentary about a forgotten area of the Himalayas, a small Nepalese district called Humla that's home to some 80,000 mountain dwellers and nestles on the borders of India and Tibet. It's home to some of the world's highest unclimbed peaks, and the few adventurous travelers who have been there often refer to it as Shangri-La. But there is a cruel paradox about living in one of the most beautiful and remote corners of our planet, in that this is also one of the poorest and harshest areas to try to eke out an existence. Malnutrition is the norm, and average income is just $2 a month. This area is so isolated that it takes more than a month of travel through the Himalayan foothills to get from its capital, Simicot, to the nearest road. I was born in here in Humla itself. When I was five years old, my mom passed away due to malnutrition because at that time there were no any medical facilities in Humla region. Feel me so bad, even though I were uh, five years old. So after that, I thought I should be a doctor anyhow. When I think about Nepal, I think about the middle hills. I think about the people. I think about the big high mountains that make you feel really small. I think about the kids. I think about the poverty and about how little people there have. And I think of how lucky I am. Most of the patients, they are four or five days away from Simicot, from the capital, and then they can't visit the hospital for their treatment. And most of them die on the, in the middle of the way. Most of the patients, they rub in a blanket and poor people just make a way in the snow and then somebody carry and the patient can ride on the horse. It's really very tough in winter. Wanda is making a plea to Canadians to donate their spare baseball caps to the people of Humla to help protect their eyes against cataracts and blindness. She herself would deliver the caps during one of her guided treks. Her project was called Caps Against Cataracts. Handing out caps in Kermi, random chaos, but with a purpose. The women are choosing selectively, the men are choosing randomly. Some were quite discerning about the color and style options, while others chose to enjoy the moment. But in the end, both young and old got their caps. But if the snow is too soft, the consequences can be just as fatal as a fall. Huge efforts are needed to plow through the soft, deep snow, and broken legs are not uncommon. If a pony got stuck, his load would have to be taken off, and as many as six porters were needed to help free the distressed animal. The porters were not happy. The effort at this altitude was huge, but it was the risk of injury to their animals that really concerned them. It is strange that one of the most spiritual, remote, awe-inspiring and friendly places is also one of the world's poorest. It is perhaps for these reasons that trekking through the Humla is such a humbling experience. Mm-hmm.